Hello viewers, welcome to Text Artisel. In this video, we will see how to test basic electronics component like resistor, capacitor, diode, transistor, fuse with the multimeter. If you not yet subscribe the channel, please do subscribe and share your feedback in the comment section. It will definitely encourage me to make more such useful content. Now let's get started. Now in this video, I am going to measure all these electronics component with the help of this multimeter. As you can see, this is not an auto select multimeter. I have to select the range accordingly. But I will also explain how to measure with the auto select multimeter. Now before measurement, I have to connect these two lead with the multimeter. So first I am going to connect this black lead in the common port of the multimeter. Next I am going to connect the red lead with the voltage and ohm port as you can see the symbol of ohm and the V is written here. As I am going to measure the resistance voltage first so I am connecting the red lead in the voltage and ohm port. If I have to measure the current then I have to use these two port. So I am connecting the lead in the voltage and ohm port. Now I am turning on the multimeter. First I will measure the DC voltage of a battery. As you can see this is a 9 volt battery. I am going to measure the voltage of the battery with the help of this multimeter. So I have to select the voltage scale. V indicate the voltage as this is a 9 volt battery. So I am selecting the 20 volt scale. Next I have to connect the red lead in the positive terminal of the battery and black lead with the negative terminal of the battery and it's showing reading 9.4 volt so we can easily measure the voltage of the battery which is a DC voltage with the help of this multimeter next I am going to measure the resistance with the help of this multimeter for that I have to select the ohm scale as you can see this is a symbol of ohm so I have selected the ohm scale from the color code I can easily calculate the nominal value of the resistance now the nominal value of this resistance is 1 kilo ohm so I have to select the range accordingly I have selected 2k so I will see the reading in kilo ohm scale here so I can easily measure the resistance by connecting two lead of the multimeter with the two terminal of the register and the reading is in kilo ohm scale which is 0.98 kilo ohm so we can easily measure the resistance but if the resistance value is very low or very high we have to keep some point in mind before measuring the resistance with the help of this multimeter to get accurate result now this is a 1 ohm resistor and this is a 1 mega ohm resistor first I will show you how to measure accurately 1 ohm with the help of this multimeter now again from the color band I can say the nominal value is 1 ohm first I have to select the range now I have select the lowest scale which is 200 ohm now the reading will show in ohm next I have to measure the resistance like this and it's showing 1.3 now what I have to do I have to connect these two lead to measure the lead resistance and it's showing 0.3 ohm previously we got the result 1.3 now the lead resistance is 0.3 if I subtract 0.3 from 1.3 we'll get accurately 1 ohm which is the nominal value of this resistance thus we can accurately measure the lower value resistance now as I've said this is a 1 mega ohm resistor and from the color band I can easily calculate the nominal value which is 1 mega ohm now again I have to select the scale I have selected 2000 K which is 2 mega ohm so again the reading will show in kilo ohm scale now I have to connect the two lead like this to get accurate result now you can see the reading is approx 1000 kilo ohm which is 1 mega ohm which is also a nominal value of this resistance but if I hold the resistance like this then you can see we are getting erroneous result which is 600 kilo ohm so if I hold the resistance like this during measurement what I am doing I am connecting my body across the resistor 
so it will give me a erroneous result for measuring the higher value of resistance i have to hold the resistance like this i have to hold the resistor with one hand and i have to connect the lead on the other terminal like this and we are getting again the accurate result which is 1000 kilo ohm or 1 mega ohm so we have seen how to measure the resistor with the help of this multimeter next i am going to measure the capacitance of this capacitor as you can see this is a electrolytic capacitor and it is a 10 microfarad capacitor as you can see it's written on the body now i can measure with the help of this multimeter up to 20 microfarad and the nominal value of this capacitor is 10 microfarad so i can measure this capacitance with the help of this multimeter now to measure the capacitance i have to select the farad scale farad is a unit of capacitance as i am going to measure the 10 microfarad capacitor so i have select the 20 microfarad scale now before measuring it is very important to discharge the capacitor for discharging and connecting a metal screwdriver across the lead then i can insert this capacitor into this slot to get the reading now you can see it's showing the reading in microfarad scale as i have selected 20 microfarad and the reading is 9.19 so as the nominal value of the capacitor is 10 microfarad and from the reading i am getting 9.1 so this capacitor is okay 20 percent deviation is possible for measuring a capacitor next i can also measure this capacitor again the nominal value of this capacitor as you can see is 0.47 microfarad so again i have to select the range accordingly i have select uh, 2 microfarad to get precise result and again i have to discharge it in same manner now i can insert into this slot to get the result and it's showing 0.46 microfarad as i have selected 2 microfarad so the nominal value is 4.7 and it's showing 0.46 so this capacitor is okay thus we can measure the capacitance with the help of this multimeter if we have farad scale present in the multimeter but if you want to measure any higher voltage capacitor like this is a 160 volt capacitor so for discharge i will suggest to use a resistor and connect the resistor with the two terminal of the capacitor like this for discharging it after that you can measure as the capacitance value of this capacitor is very small and the voltage is also small so i have just connect a screwdriver to discharge it in my previous video i have already shown how to test different type of capacitor with the different method with and without a multimeter so please go and check the video i have given the link in the description next we are going to measure the diode with the help of this multimeter so as you can see this is a symbol of the diode first i have to select this symbol next as you can see this is a diode and this is a band with the help of this band i can easily say this is anode and this is cathode if the band is here so for testing i have to connect the red lead with the anode and i have to connect the black lead with the cathode and the band is here as you can see we are getting a reading 0.5 next i have to connect the black lead with the anode and the red lead with the cathode then we will get over limit as current can flow through a diode only in one direction so if this positively biased then we can get the reading now in this condition i have connect the black lead with the anode and red lead with the cathode so this is negatively biased so we will get no reading as no current flowing through the diode this diode is okay as we are getting reading only 
connecting the red lead with the anode and black lead with the cathode again we are going to test this diode you can see this is a band and again I am connecting the red lead with the anode and black lead with the cathode and we are getting some reading in the multimeter as the diode is positively biased and if I reverse the terminal black lead to anode and red lead to cathode again we are getting reading so it's indicate this diode is not okay as current can flow through this diode in both direction as we are getting result in both case so thus we can easily check whether the diode is good or bad now with the same method we can easily identify whether the LED is good or bad now there are two terminal anode and cathode to identify anode we have to see which one is longer lead of the LED the longer lead is anode and the shorter lead is cathode negative terminal and another way to identify anode and cathode of the LED we have to find a flat surface here this is a flat surface as you can see and the terminal near to flat surface is cathode so this is cathode this is anode now to check whether the LED is good or bad we have to connect the red lead with the anode which is a longer terminal and a black lead with a cathode and we will get reading 1.5 which is a forward voltage of the LED and you can see the LED is glowing after connecting anode with the red lead and cathode with the black lead so this LED is okay if the LED will not glow after connection then this LED is bad now we can also check our transistor whether it is NPN or PNP or the transistor is good or bad now I am going to test the transistor with the help of this multimeter you can see there are three terminal for a transistor first I am going to connect the red lead in between as you can see next I have to connect the black lead with these two terminal of the transistor if I get reading then the transistor is NPN as I am not getting any reading after connecting the middle terminal with the red lead and black lead with the another two side terminal of the transistor so this transistor is PNP middle terminal is N if I connect the black lead with the middle terminal for the same transistor and if I connect the red lead with the two side terminal I will get the reading in both case you can see 0.6 and here you can see 0.6 so this is PNP transistor if I connect the black lead with the middle terminal then I will get no reading for a NPN transistor if I connect the black lead you can see in the middle and I am connecting the red lead with the two side terminal I am getting no reading for NPN transistor if this is PNP then I should get reading in this like you can easily identify whether this is NPN or PNP next if I get result by connecting two side terminal in the multimeter then the transistor is not ok you can see as I am getting result by connecting two side terminal then it's indicator transistor is damaged but for a good transistor I will get no reading if I connect the two lead of the multimeter with the two side terminal of the transistor if I alternate the lead again I am getting no reading for a good transistor thus we can easily check whether the transistor is good or bad whether it is NPN or PNP lastly we will check the continuity function of the multimeter as you can see for a diode transistor we have selected this diode symbol now we will select this continuity symbol this is a continuity symbol as you can see in the screen to check fuse relay coil transformer coil this function is very helpful 
now first i am going to check the fuse with the help of this multimeter as you can see i am connecting the two lead with the two terminal of the fuse and i am getting a beep sound and it's showing 0.3 so with the help of this beep sound is indicate this fuse is okay now i am going to measure this fuse also again i am connecting the two lead with the two terminal and i am getting no beep sound so this fuse is blown out thus you can easily check whether the fuse is okay or blown out if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos and definitely share your feedback in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day